Like the title suggests, in today's video we have some benchmarking numbers for you. We have the Sapphire Radio and RX 7900 XT video cord. I did try five different games for this particular benchmark. I got Cyberpunk 2077, I got Borderlands 3, I got Heaven Benchmark, I got Fortnite, and I did some Elden Ring. And yes, even with Fortnite, I ran everything at max settings. I didn't do the competitive play, so if you want to play Fortnite on this cord at 4K, you run competitive settings, you get a little bit better frame rates out of it. For everybody that didn't watch my last personal rig upgrade, we will be running down through the components to make up today's test bed. Then we'll get into the numbers with some gameplay. I'll show you my fancy little chart that I threw together that ain't so fancy. Then I'll be back with my conclusions to the video. So without wasting a lot more of your time, let's flip you over and we'll go down through the components and the benchmarks for you. All right, guys, and to go down through the components to make up today's test bed, this is my personal rig. We are running the AMD Ryzen 9 7950X CPU. It's a bummer they just cut the price on because I just bought that for a higher price. For the motherboard, we have the ASUS ROG Strix B650E-F Gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. For RAM, we have G-Skills Triton Z5 Series 64 gigs of DDR5 memory running at 6,000 megahertz. And in today's test, the only thing that was uh, overclocked was the RAM. It is running at 6,000 megahertz speeds. For storage, we have the WD Black SN850X. That's the M.2 2TB SSD. Of course, for the graphic power, we have the Sapphire Radeon RX 7900 XT graphics card. To house everything, we have the Corsair 4000D airflow case. To keep the CPU cool, we have the Fractor Design Celsius Plus S28 Prisma. To keep everything else in the case cool and matches the fans that come with the all-in-one we have the fractor design prisma al12 that is a three pack of fans that i added into the system to keep everything else nice and cool the power of the system we have the corsair rm 1000e that is an 80 plus gold certified 1000 watt power supply that's fully modular and there's also an elgato game capture 4k 60 pro mk.2 capture cord in the system
ran down through the components that was in today's test bed, which is my personal rig. Showed you the gaming numbers that I got, what kind of performance you can expect out of this GPU at 4K, at ultimate settings on all games. Like I mentioned, if you want to play competitive settings at Fortnite, you can do better than that. But I run 4K. 60 hertz monitor so that's 60 hertz is more than enough for me it's pretty well an entry level 4k gaming cord i believe with the way with the numbers that i got today i think it's also going to be a pretty good upgrade for my 2070 super that i've been running for the last few years that's kind of performance you can expect out of it and then you know, any of the other games that i played today and you want better performance you could always cut them back a little bit if you want better performance out of them I didn't test ray tracing in any of the games today. But AMD just ain't on par up there with the ray tracing capabilities. I didn't think that was important enough to throw into today's testing. There's some links in that description below that may interest you. Don't forget the all that fun YouTube stuff on your way out of here. You all have a good day and I'll see you in the next video or live stream.